This is the choke from the back, from head and arm. This is the north-south choke. I'm gonna give up, it looks like I'm giving up the top position. And I'm allowing myself into north-south. I'm allowing him to have pretty much side control. Three points is really bad, but it's not bad if you have a choke grip. So let me show you my variation of the choke from north-south. I have the collar and I'm gonna right away pronate my hand. When I grab, I grab regularly where I have the Ulta connecting with this Adam's apple as I reach. Fingers in, thumb out. Shifting hop to the side. Now I'm gonna pronate my hand, my grip. And I'm going to rely on three uh, three grips, okay? Three grips. I'm going to release my pinky. I need to be flexible. I don't need to be strong here. I'm trying to be using my hooks here, my hook grip. Now, once I shift, I'm going to dive my head through in front of his chest here. And now once I dive my head through, I'm going to break my hips. And now I have good base here too. Upside down, right away, this hand, my free hand, is grabbing the material or the belt even, if I can. If not, grab everything, his skin, everything, his arms. You cannot let him move. I'm still pronating my grip here. Um, now, once I get here, I'm going to open my elbows, real opposite. I'm going to open my right grip. I'm going to use a back extension. I'm pulling, going back to my grip. I pronate, look, the palm is on Alex's carotid artery there. And on the other side is the kimono, the collar. I grab this so it prevents him from rolling too fast or at all. 